Happy October, Las Vegas peeps. We have all of the September data to share with everybody here um, for the Las Vegas real estate market. I'm Greg Benner, and let's take a look at that here in a moment. But don't forget, mortgage rates are up, folks, and inventory of homes is up. If you're looking to buy, give me a call. We're going back to the old way of doing things. We can um, work with closing costs. We can ask the seller to toss a little in for discount point. We have all kinds of things that we can do to help you guys out. I know that um, everybody feels the mortgage rates are very high, along with the uh, growth in the um, home prices recently. It's a double whammy on folks, but um, there are probably, there are things that we can do to ease some of that and um, get you into a place. So if you're looking to buy, give me a call. Let's discuss your options. If you're a seller and you're looking to sell, there are things we can do to make your home attractive so that it moves. We have to price it correctly. There are some things we can offer to buyers in order to entice them to look at your home more so than the guy down the street. So either or, buyers, sellers, if you're looking to sell and then buy something, we can put a plan together. That's the key. We need to get a plan together. But right now, let's take a look at what happened in September in the Las Vegas real estate market. Here we go. Okay, folks, here's the data for September for the Las Vegas real estate market. Here is what happened. Let's take a look at what happened in September. We're going to compare that to August, and we're going to compare that to September a year ago right here. Okay, so we've got number of units sold. What? How many are selling here in the Las Vegas area? So in September, we had 2,030 homes sell. And in August of 2022, we had 2,002. So we kind of flattened out there for a couple months. We'll see what happens moving forward. A year ago, we were at 3,209 homes sold. <clears throat> and that is a decline of almost 37% from September of 2021, right there. Number of units sold. Let's take a look at average price of units sold. In September of 2022, 529,600. In August of 2022, 539,400. And a year ago, September 2021, 485,400. So we're still up 9.1% year over year. And don't forget 2021 had a uh, um, increase of approximately um, about 27% for home prices. I'm going to move on down here to number of available units. So without offers. So that's the number of homes for sale that do not have offers currently. And that number is 8,121. And since we're selling 2,030 a month, that's just about almost exactly um, four months of inventory there. And you can see we were almost exactly at that last month also. We had 2,002 units being sold in August, and we had 8,000 on the market. So that was four months of inventory also. And if we look here one year ago, 3,209 sold, 3,463 available units. So, boy, oh boy, just about 1.1, not even that. We have to round up 1.1 months of inventory on the market. As they were moving fast then. And that was driving prices up, right? Okay. Let me see where I'm going here now. Average price of available units. So that is average price of units on the market. And those are without offers. So that is September 2022, 711,000. In August of 2022, 720,000. And a year ago, 
in September of 21, that was 829,200. So that's a drop of 14%. I am going to go down to number of available units, including those with offers, is 10,500. A month prior to that, 10,600, and a year prior, 7,854. So that is number of available units, including those with offers. And I'm going to skip down to number of new listings that had come on board during the month of September, 2022, 3,376 compared to the prior month, August, 2022, 4,008. And then the prior year, 3,689. So they were coming on board there a year. Oops. They were coming on board there a year ago and um, they were, Moving quickly. So we've got average price of the new listing, 608,000. Month prior, just about the same thing, 608,000. And a year ago, 555.3, we'll round that up to. We're still up 9.5%. So we went over already months of effective inventory, four months, four months at 1.1. Is what we came up with on our own. Look at that. And time on market share. So this tells us for those homes that have sold, how long have they been on the market? What percentage of them were on the market for zero to 30 days? 56.8% in um, September of 22. And then the prior month, that was higher. So they were selling quickly a month prior, zero to 30 days, 71.7% .7 of those sold was 71.7 in zero to 30 days. And a year prior in September, we were at 84%. So they were coming on and they were moving quickly. So things are shifting downward as we come this way up here in the zero to 30 days, as we move to 31 to 60 days, we will see that we are at 28.4% of those homes that sold were on the market for 31 to 60 days. So they stayed on the market longer. Month prior was 21%. A year ago, September was 11%. So they're staying on the market longer, as you can see. Time on the market here, 61 to 90 days, 9% September 22, 5.1 August 22, and a year ago, 3.3%. So as you can see, things are shifting downward here, meaning that they're staying on the market a little bit longer there, which is not the end of the world. Where we had been previous to this was the unusual part. Um, that was not a normal market. So we're, we're just shifting backwards here a little bit to a, uh, to a no more normalized market where things are on the market a little bit longer, um, prices, we're, we're going through um, a stabilization period now, I would call it. Um, we're still not going to have, um, I would say that we're still not going to have um, huge amounts of inventory. This is not, should not be a um, repeat of something like the Great Recession where there were huge problems within the um, lending system. And also that hit at a time of great inventory on the market of new homes and such. So we're not facing that right now. Ever since that time, uh, builders have cut back on uh, the number of homes that they've built. And for the past more than a decade, we have built less homes than we've needed. And that is culminating right now. So we're still in that predicament where we haven't caught up with the number of homes needed out there. And we're, we won't be catching up to that number anytime soon. So uh, predictions are that we will see a stabilized price 
where increases will not go up um, at such great leaps that they had previous to this. And um, inventory will find a nice equilibrium there. And we should have a little bit um, of a better market for both sides here moving forward. Okay, so that's where we are for single family homes. <clears throat> right there, that is single family homes. Let's just take a brief look at condo townhouse market. I'll click right on there and move us over. So we got number of units sold in condos townhouses. Latest period 524, August 611, and a year ago, September 869. So for month over month, 14.2% decline, and year over year, 39.7% decline. Average price of units sold, condos, and townhouses, once again, 292,000. Prior month, 281.7. One year ago, 251.3. So those are up 16.3 year over year for the month of September. Let's look at number of available units, 1,849, prior period, 1,812, and a year ago, 628. So that is number of available units without offers, condos and townhouses, 1849, September 22, 1812, August 22, 628, September 21. That's 194.4% increase. Now I'm going to go down to, let's see here, <clears throat> number of new listings that came on the market. 754 in September of 22, 979 in August of 22, and 869 in September of 21. So we're down 23% month over month, and we're down 13.2% year over year for the month of September. Months of effective inventory. Okay, so we're at 3.5% in condos and townhouses, months of inventory, uh, as compared to single family homes, we're at four months. The previous month, we were at three months of effective inventory in condos and townhouses. Compared to single family homes, we were at four months. And a year ago, we were at 0 0.7 months of effective inventory in condos and townhouses compared to single family homes, which was at 1.1%. So they're, they're kind of the same. Um, I would say they're not that far off. And let's just real quick look at time on the market, zero to 30 days. So 64.5% in September, uh, August of this year, 75. And a year ago, September, 85.5. That's zero to 30 days. Time on the market, 31 to 60, 23, 18.38, and then 61 to 90, 9.2, 3.9, and 3.8. So we have the same shift going on where things are coming down a bit here, moving on down to being on the market just a tad bit longer there. And we're getting um, back to a normalized market. So it's not the, um, not the sky is not falling, doesn't seem to be falling, and uh, doesn't seem to be the, um, end of the real estate market approaching here. So that's where we look right there. Okay, so that's the look at the Las Vegas real estate market for September of 2022. I hope you found that informative and I hope it helps you if you're thinking of making any kind of move in the real estate market here in Southern Nevada. Um, I would love to help you out, of course. Please, if you know anyone who's looking to buy or sell, Please pass along my number, my email, and um, have them get in touch. We can devise a plan of action to make things work for you and get you in to where you want to be. So I hope you have a wonderful October, and I hope that all of your dreams come true. Happy Halloween to everybody. See you next month. Bye-bye.